What if the Mandela effect is just us experiencing a mass trauma and we're remembering the way we're remembering the world the way that it was before we was traumatized? Like, say for example, like post traumatic stress and how uh, traumatic events create. Well, when people experience traumatic events, their mind create different things. Remember, suppress, create um, characters, figures. You know what I mean? It can do all of that stuff to protect us. So in a movie, whenever um, a child discover or somebody discovered that they've been talking to a ghost or imaginary friend, something that's not there, or whatever. Whenever they we say imaginary. So whenever they remember back, they remember back um, every event they had with that imaginary friend. They remember back. It, they remember and they just see them. They, they realize it was just them the entire time. But the idea that we was all traumatized, like say like 2001, around September time frames, like in school, like watching stuff on TV as a, as a kid, um, that's where a, a lot of uh, Mandela started to make sense. Like cereal, bear steam bears, fruit of looms, all of that stuff. That's like the type of stuff you see on TV commercials and uh, and a lot of other stuff, but the the notion that um, we are being constantly traumatized, and in the midst of trauma, traumatic events, we are being introduced um, new things that warp our mind. Because whenever we remember it, we remember it back from this moment that we was traumatized. So if um, we was watching eating some Kellogg's cereal or um, Wearing some fruit of looms or whatever we were watching SpongeBob, not SpongeBob, Pikachu. But if we if we was doing those things, if those things were changed, were changed and implanted around us, or we saw it while we was traumatized, we would remember it that way, right? Rather than any other way.